As Austin is facing tremendous growth, we're expecting close to 4 million people by the year 2040. It's maybe hard to think of now, but uh, I don't want to see our public transportation system and our streets and our pedestrian and cycling facilities in the condition they are now with that many more people. My name is Ryan Atividad. I'm 29 years old. I'm studying community and regional planning for a master's degree at UT Austin. My focus is primarily in urban design and by connection land use. However, that relates very heavily to, to transportation. When it comes to designing like the physical infrastructure of our streets and building and land use and housing choices to be made for neighborhoods and for cities, I wanted to be a part of that and show people how we can live differently and design things differently and make different decisions politically from a planning perspective. So when I, when I came to Austin, what really surprised me was the amount of traffic for a city this size. And I found it extremely difficult to find a neighborhood that would allow me to get to school and to get to work on time. After settling in the North University Hyde Park area, I realized that I want to see more neighborhoods have the opportunity and more people at more affordable prices have the opportunity to have access to decent public transit. So I'm supporting Prop A and Prop B. Prop A is a comprehensive public transit measure which will provide more options to Austinites in their ability to get around by public transportation. Prop B will provide improvements to our streets and to our mobility for cyclists, pedestrians, as well as drivers. One of the things I think people have to realize is that they have power in the situation. Um, planners, urban designers, we can't do our work without the support of people. And that means electing officials that support better policies. Supporting measures that allow us to bring our expertise and to make things better. When we make the decisions on ballots and any policy decision in city council, these choices we make today will affect us 20, 40 years from now. I think Austin has many great qualities and I would like to see that be maintained and enhanced, but also improved and adapt to being a growing city that works for both people that are here now as well as newcomers.